you guys, Marty Schwartz here with Marty Music. We're gonna break down the Kinks Lola. There's some cool little riffs in here. I think you guys will dig it. Uh, also, if you haven't yet, I appreciate you subscribing here to the Marty Music YouTube channel and clicking that bell notification. Helps me with the algorithm, thank you. Uh, also, I have free courses in the link down there, so check those out, other cool stuff. Thanks, let's break it down. All right, the song starts with a little part that happens throughout the song. It's a C chord to a D chord to an E major chord. So it goes like this. C, C, it just starts with two downs. And then a little rest between. And you could pick the high E, B, G as a, kind of like a little banjo roll there if you wanted to get picky. And then the basic form of the song is E, 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 A, D, D, E, E, ba da 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 stays on A, doesn't go to D the second time every time when a verse starts. So every time that you've got that verse, it goes E, A, D, but then the second time, instead of going to D, it holds on A twice as long. So like when he, in lyrically you can hear it, uh, cola, C-O-L-A, cola, like that little part stays on A, so. Da, da, da. And it could be the Yoda song. Sigh, little dad, sitting there on a logger, they ask him his name. The raspy voice, he said, Yoda. But then, Y-O-D-A, Yoda. Then it does it again. And it adds the D, E. Da, 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 da. D, 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 the C part. So finally, and that's really the form of the whole song other than the, you know, there's some other parts with bar chords, but like the basic form of verse chorus is that at the end of the song, it just keeps repeating Lola. So it's an electric guitar part, but you've got an E, a full E bar chord. You could play a little piece of it because you have the E major pentatonic. So that's the 12th fret right there. It's also the same notes as the C-sharp minor pentatonic. And then within that major pentatonic, you have what I call the Hendrix major chord. And with E, you can hit the open E ring out, and then you're playing that across the ninth fret, but then hammering that major third of E, which is a G-sharp. You have a chord and you have part of that guitar riff. Back into it. So E E E E. And that's just the that pentatonic little extended thing. Uh, so I'm on the 11th fret G. If you're on acoustic, it's a little more challenging to bend it but you can do it, or go. So that's 11th fret, up, bend up, natural, then down the scale, and then slide back up from nine to 11. 
And then from that position, it's all pentatonic. So that's nine to 11, and then nine on the D, back to 11 on A. And then transition, if you're the only guitar player. Obviously that's the electric part, so you could do something with two guitars in a different way, but. So the next section, I'm just gonna call it the B section. Uh, it's a B major chord, the B section. So it has that in common. Um, I just go for the full E-shaped bar chord uh, on the seventh fret. It's got power to it. This one's a little weirder. So. Then you just go to the second fret, which is F sharp major. And then A major, and if your hand's tired, you can go to the open A. I'm gonna just slide it up to the fifth fret because it goes, and then becomes A7, and this one sounds really good for this particular part. Adding my pinky to the eighth fret B string makes it A7. I mean, you could go, it's the same note, third fret high E, but, that B section. B, F sharp, A, A7. And then the other section, which definitely feels like a bridge. So A major bar chord. C sharp minor, so that's fourth fret A minor shape, so to B major. She pushed me away, does this three times, here's the third time, then B, then B, then B. So three times, which by the way, that's this as well, so you go. Same thing. Then E, G sharp minor, so fourth fret, but E minor shape to C sharp minor which is fourth fret A minor shape. So. Then a quick B major. And then right back to it.
All right, thanks again, you guys. Appreciate the continued support. Uh, of course, subscribing to the channel is one of my goals for you. So if you do that, I appreciate it. And click in the bell notification. And then, you know, links down there for all kinds of cool stuff. Um, I got merch, I got courses, I got pedals. Um, and that supports the channel. So thank you. See you later.